year so they can know what their investments look like and everything for their fund. Send it to them and send it to them unbranded. Take a chance. You guys are like, Neil, why would I take my photo? My send it to them unbranded so that the CPA looks good when they show it to their client. You will, the CPA will remember you. Trust me. All right. Fair enough. All right. One, uh, another way to get through the gatekeeper, another way to get through the gatekeeper is what we call persistent positive action. Persistent positive action. And that is just going in when you don't need anything just to say, hey, hey, I didn't need anything. I was thinking about you. Or call, hey, how are you doing? What's your week looking like? The same thing that we do for our aunts, uncles, moms, calling to check on them. When was the last time you think a gatekeeper was just ask how they were doing and then ask a follow-up question. So what did your Thanksgiving look like? What are you doing for the holiday season? Oh, I didn't need anything by. And then just put that into your, um, your database. Fair enough. That's one of the quickest ways. That's an action item that you can take today. If you did that with two or three of your gatekeepers, you would immediately become one of their favorite people. And when you answer, when you call them and they answer the phone, they say, oh, hey, Neil, how are you today? All right. And then it just builds a relationship. It is not good enough to be a it's not good enough to be an agent. It's not good enough to be a sales professional. What do we want to be instead? The everything that you do for the luxury niche needs to be targeted towards getting you to become the. There are a lot of A's in here. Right now, I, I just stopped the letter A. Some of you guys have dirty minds like, well, yeah, there's a lot of A whatever right there are a lot of a's in here but for your market if you ask your clients if you ask your prospects who do you think about when you think of selling or you know buying luxury real estate if they don't think of you if they can't name you specifically you have not done a good enough job fair so what are some of the ways that we can go from being a to the a to the what is i'm sorry improved service Improve service, small things like the videos, previewing properties, the executive summary. If you're working with sellers, most of the affluent clientele that we're looking to deal with, they have in some type, some way, they have done business at a level that is superior to those around them, right? So they, they're either business owners or they run their family. They run their families like a business. So they understand that we talked about time is more valuable than money. So one of the best ways to improve your service or to get into their good graces is that executive summary. So between the executive summary and then just overall uh, improvement of your showing uh, process or previewing, previewing properties, that's going to be a fantastic help. What are some other ways we can go from A to the? Yes, sir. Branding. Branding. Branding is a fantastic way. People must know who you are. Now, our branding, one of the challenges when we go to asking for referrals with our branding is not going to be about me, 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 me. The photos of me, I'm the number one this, I'm the number one that. We have to speak the language of service and respect to our clients. So build that into your branding. What's in it? We always know with them, right? We know what's in it for me. We know that's what they're asking, but is that apparent in everything we do with our conversation, our communication, and our branding? So people need to know. They must know what it is that you do. All right? 